Here at Multitracks.com, we offer thousands of accurate and customizable charts for the songs that worship leaders are playing in church week after week. You and your team can access all of those charts on your mobile device in the Chart Builder app. And now you can access the charts that you've created in Multitracks Cloud as well. In this video, let's talk about how you can create your very own cloud chart for Chart Builder. Log into multitracks.com and go to your library. And if you haven't already created a cloud song, go ahead and click Add Song. Now add all of the song's metadata and click Next. Now navigate to the Charts tab. Here we can create charts in three easy steps. Number one, creating the song sections. Number two, entering the lyrics. And finally, number three, placing the Chord Pro data. So let's have a look at creating song sections. This process will vary based on if you have tracks or song sections already. So to start with, here's a song with no chart. Click Add Section to add your first section. And you'll need to assign your song a section a title. Let's make this one, let's say verse one. You can create your chart section by section, but I find it helpful to map out the whole song first. Let's add a few more sections. Let's add intro, and let's add chorus. Now we want the intro to be first, so to reorder the sections, click the order drop-down menu and select a new position in the song map for this part. Now, if you already have uploaded tracks to your song, you will need to provide time code for this section, but we'll cover this in the tracks uploading tutorial. Okay, number two, now we need to enter the lyrics. So for each section, we either need to type in or copy and paste the lyrics for that specific section. Make sure to press return or enter to put each phrase on a new line. So let's just put in, here is the first line of lyrics. I'm gonna press enter and here is the second line. So personally, I prefer to enter in lyrics and chords for each section before moving on to the next, so that I can copy and paste repeated parts. So that takes us on to part three, placing the chords. So chords are actually placed inside brackets like this. So let's go here, bracket C, brackets is the first line of the lyrics. They can be placed anywhere among the lyrics, even the middle of the word, if the chord happens to change between syllables. Here we go, so here is the first line of Let's add the F into lyrics. Placing these is up to your preference, but can be incredibly precise. We offer a wide range of chord extensions as well as additions. The complete list of extensions and additions can be found in the Quick Start Guide, which can be downloaded at the top of any cloud chart. So let's build a more complex chord now. Let's add a chord, but this chord needs to be A, and we're gonna add minor. So here is the A second line, and now we're going to add the extension M to make it a minor. So here is the A minor, second line. We can also add extensions to this chord to make it a minor, a sus chord, or even a seven. And we can go further with additions like add nine or a sharp four to your chord as well. And these are added after your chord extension. So for example, we could go A minor seven, add nine. And there are thousands of options to choose from, but we don't want to make you memorize all of them. So simply open a bracket, start typing your chord, and our autocomplete feature will suggest chords to you so that you can really streamline and simplify this process. Now I recommend saving often to update your preview to double check the syntax of your chart. Now all of this and much more is available through our Multitracks Cloud subscription. Visit multitracks.com to learn more and start your free trial of cloud today.